Hey all my creative friends, how you guys doing today? I am back from vacation. Um, we got on yesterday afternoon and it seems like all we've been doing since then is sleeping. <laughs> well, I tell you, driving that great big old RV, it's a Class A, um, can be a little frightening. And, you know, when you're sitting in it and everything kind of rattles and sways with, you know, it's like, ah! so, yeah, it's not, that part of it is not as relaxing as you'd like it to be. Um, but I guess it just takes some getting used to that, you know, you tied all the cabinets closed and things like that, you know, so things aren't going to fall out. You're just scared they are. <laughs> anyway, it was a lot of fun. I was sick most of the time I was there, but I still got to see my grandson finally towards the end because I didn't want to get anybody sick. Uh, I still got a little bit of it, so if I sneeze or cough or do something gross, I'm so sorry. It's breaking up, so it's right at that really icky time <laughs> where you, you feel okay, but you can't breathe. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so I only missed one video, and it was yesterday's. I did not have a video to put up yesterday, but I am here to make up for that so that I can put this out tomorrow for my Thursday video, and then we will be off and running again. So I still have not put um, my closure on. Just so you guys know, I've, I'm still we're still in the decorating mode front is going to be absolutely plain um, and I just thought I'd go through page by page because some of it still needs to have paper put on it and then some of it just needs you know to be decorated pretty so <coughs> excuse me this one now these little pieces are actually stickers they're not the easiest things to get started but if you take the end of it and fold it back on itself and pinch it. Usually, you might have to do it a couple times. Just try not to get the actual piece of the sticker that is, uh, you know, the picture. Because if it damages the sticker a little bit, you can cut it off. Oh, I have got to get new glasses. And if it doesn't work folding it one way, then try folding it the other and see if that works. And eventually, you will get... So yeah, these are not the easiest things to work with. Just not. Um... But, they're pretty once they're on. And, and uh, maybe not all of these were stickers. I don't know. This one is not cooperating at all. At all. Well, so, when we first got there... Oh, good Lord. You know, we'd, we'd never done anything with this camper before. You know, I mean, we we painted it and, and found things that needed to be fixed and such like that. But, um, you know, we just, we just didn't, weren't sure. Well, one thing I didn't realize is that at this site, at this uh, place where I was, where we were, they did not offer sewage, <laughs> which means, you know, because we've got a shower, we've got a commode, um, a lavatory, whatever you want to call it, and we've got a washer-dryer. So, uh, we got there, and in the first couple of days, and we did not know that the people we bought it from, they said, oh, they're empty. They were not. So... We are, we showered, 
um, after we got there and got everything set up, because it's Florida, June, dummy, um, it was hot. It was, it was way too hot. So, um, we both showered, and then my idea, you know, let's keep up with the laundry. So, I did a little laundry. Well, um... <laughs> Our system backed up into the shower, and there is about a four, no, six inch to eight inch tub area. It's not really a tub, uh, you know, not made to, to use as a tub, but yeah. So it backed up into that, and it wasn't very smelly. I mean, it wasn't, didn't smell very good. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I cannot get this done. And I just want to use one. I just had one opened up. And it didn't take me near this long <laughs> to get it. Of course. So we're going to skip these. Um, they're super pretty, but uh, let's see. I don't even know which one it was that I had opened. I don't know. Maybe this one. Um... So, yeah, so then we had to, I mean, you can't just let, it was just gray water. It wasn't the poopy water, because it does separate those two out in campers, just for those of you who don't know that. It's just gray water, which is where you're washing your, you know, your, your dishes, your laundry, your hands, um, that, that's called gray water. So it was just the gray water tank that backed up, um, but, you know, that stuff can get pretty sour smelling. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. Um, but anywho, so we had to go out and try and find what they call a tote where you can, a portable um, tote where you can uh, drain part of your um tanks into that and then take it to a dumping station. Holy Hannah. So we had to do, I mean, it took us all day to find one. Excuse me. And then we had to come home and um, do all of the, the dumping. We emptied out both, both of them. But then at that point we were like, well, okay, We'll go, it was just right across the, the road was the showers. So we showered and used their water. Well, it was going to be their water anyway, but we showered and used their facilities. And um, we, did, we did use the restroom in our thing. Um, and, of course, I did the dishes and things like that. But I didn't do any more laundry in the camper. It just filled it up way too fast. Um, but... Yeah, it was still it was still a super nice super nice time and the um it was a um Hillsborough River State Park. It's down in Thonona Sassa and um it's it's just all woodland. I mean it's just back to nature kind of thing. You know, you just uh <coughs> ah I had plans to use these things, but I, I think I'm going to move on to something else. Okay, so, um, yeah, but we had a great time. We, um, like I said, about two days later after all of that, I got very sick from the same thing my husband had before we left. So I was, um, it was miserable to be in a, in the camper and be sick. It, I mean, it, it's miserable to do it anywhere, but, you know, when you're not home, you're not in your own environment, and, um, and of course, Florida in June, it was hot, and that's the last thing I wanted to do is go outside in the heat. <coughs> so, I'm just chatting while I am decorating, putting a few little tidbits in here uh, of the of the all the wonderful stuff that that 
was sent. So there is a little bit of pretty. And then some of the larger tags. Um, but yeah, so I didn't get much crafting done because I didn't feel like it. I just, it was just, oh, I'd like one of those sideways, but they're all up and down. Of course, I can turn. No, you can, you can see through it, so not quite the same. And there's a little memo note paper memo pad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> memo note paper memo pad. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so we just keep going. Now this is a nice flat page. Great for a 4 by 6 um, You would only have to cut them down like a half an inch to get it in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and here's a nice pocket. And this says Land of All Things. Oh, this is the back. Well, we will save that. Let's see what else we have here. So here's a little daily notepad, note, piece of note paper, and here is a map. Is there only one there? Feels that's just a little thicker than all the other paper, so it just felt like there was two. Okay, so there's a pocket filled up. Oop, missed a page. I just think these are gorgeous, just gorgeous. Not going to do anything to them. And then here is these pockets, and let's see what we have. Oh, ha, ha. I, I tell you, oh, I swear, my husband and I have, if we sat down for any length of time, we were fast asleep <laughs> all day today. <laughs> it, it was so funny. Why are you not going flat? I think maybe I got a little bit of glue. I don't know. It was not going flat. Now it is. Okay. Must have been just a little bit of glue in the way. All right. And then maybe one of these. Like flowers postcard forest. So everything's very um, put that that way. Everything's very nature you know, on most of this stuff, it's very nature um, organized. I would love to get one of these off of here. And I'm just not sure. Okay. I've got it started. All right, tweezers. Okay. Yay! I had to prove to you guys that I had done this at least once. Okay, so we're going to put a little purple flower right here. I really wanted one over here, but I wasn't patient enough. I think actually I was pretty darn patient with this, but okay, so we're going to put this right here. For some little added color, prettiness. Okay, next. Okay, so we've got something in each one of these. And then this opens up this way. It's the only one we did it where it would flap out this way. And here's a little calendar card that would be really pretty in there. And let's put in one of these memo Memo note paper memo pads. <laughs> All right. And then on this side, 
I'm not really sure of the significance of September 12th, Happy Day. Uh, didn't look on the calendar to see if that's supposed to be some special day or something. So if it is, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, and that's a little too small to stick in there. I'm not going to stick that one. We will keep digging for it. And then I'll do this one. Give a little contrast. And let's turn this this way. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with this one. There we go. All right. Close this back up. Now, we need to do this here. Okay, so what I did, as you can see on this one here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. I looked at my... Um, tidbits first to see if I had anything that would work, but I think I have used all of the usable for, for this item here. Let's see, but let's see. No, that won't. That will not work. Um, okay, so let's get this will look pretty with that one. I don't want the same one. That's sticker paper. Don't need to use the sticker paper. Okay, so for the first thing that I want to do is I want to get the width correct. So I'm going to go ahead. Did I have... Uh-huh. I think... Oh, there it is. I hadn't put all of my stuff away. <coughs> from the trip. I guess I sat down one too many times, just didn't get to that one. <laughs> oh yeah, we we both were just so very tired. Okay, so now I have the proper width, and now I'm looking for, I want to at least have it uh, down this, you know, this far so that I can get, so I'm going to go ahead and measure using halfway through and make a mark. Okay, so we're going to cut that. Make sure you're getting it nice and straight. Take your time. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, low battery. So you lost, you lost me here. I had it charged to beat the band and it's supposedly charging oh I have got to get myself a new phone I had just got to get myself a new phone so that I can and that's not the phone I use for you know conversing and stuff that's one of our old phones that my son just set up so that I could video but it's it's not doing properly at all okay <coughs> so I'm going to pull these items out of here and I'm going to slide this right down so that it lines up with these top edges. All right. Just takes a little bit of fiddly work. Now, once you get it lined up with the very top edges, then you're going to take your pencil and draw the outline. All right. Now, if you have to use a pencil to remove, I mean, an eraser to remove the pencil, that's, I shouldn't use that one. That's an, a graphic art pencil, and it just... 
it, it's, it, it just gets that pencil, you know, everywhere. Everywhere, I tell you. Uh, okay, good thing I brought this so I have a pair of scissors. <laughs> All right, so then we're just going to cut that line off. And this is pretty much how we do all of it. Now I'm going to try and leave these. There's about a sixteenth of an inch left between the two corners. So I'm going to try and not tear that. This is very fine, um, what do you call it, uh, scrapbook type paper. Okay, so then we're going to just glue this down. And I'm not going to erase the pencil mark on this one until it's glued down. Bug bites and scratches from walking through the jungle a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a jungle, but, you know, we were having we were having some fun. We did a little bit of, uh, well, we always had to take the dogs um, get them exercised and walked and such, but oh my gosh, it was so hot. Did I tell you that already? <laughs> um, so my husband and daughter, for Father's Day, she took him to a an establishment. Um, it's a bar, uh, but they have uh, live music. It's called Skippers in, um, I guess it's in Tampa. And they had a very good time. I don't know what, I don't particularly know what bands they listen to. But, um, you know, I get the arduous duty of taking care of my grandson <laughs> by myself. And, you know, that's just tough duty. And I always say, well, I guess we can do it all alone, can't we, can't we, Connor? And he's like... And I told him when I said that, make it sound like we were really going to miss him and stuff. But we don't. We have a blast. <laughs> okay, so I do this super easy. I mean, you know, it's just a pencil mark, really. And then, <coughs> let me see. I know that's not long enough. Um, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to need... Oh, this will work. Yeah, it's almost a little short, but it'll work. And I'm going to cut it in half. So let's just get three quarters, I think. There we go. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I can't breathe. Now I'm going to put this Okay. I'm actually going to cover up this little teeny bit so that it looks a little more amazing. You know what I'm saying? It just looks a little more amazing this way. And then we're going to take the rest of the paper that we have and just butt it right up against the uh, strip I just put down and get your <clears throat> proper length here. Super easy, super simple. And I think we've got a couple more to go through as well. I might have to cut a little bit more of this off. Because I did not get my pencil mark off. And I pretty much need to do that. There we go. <coughs> okay. Um... So let's see, what went wrong, basically everything that could go wrong, went wrong on this trip. <laughs> and I did not cut that straight at all. At 
all. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Um, okay, so let's see. If I could do them in order, it would be fun. So, of course, we already had the backup of the water system, the water waste treatment system. <laughs> then, of course, I got sick. Um, what else? Oh, good Lord, what was next? Uh... Okay, well, one of the things I can think of, it, 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 it was one of the last things that happened, but um, it was just hilarious, in a, and, and it turned out to be a wonderful thing because we met a wonderful couple that we uh, have exchanged phone numbers with and have already spoken with. So um, they, live, they live in Florida. Um, but, uh, when we go back, we have plans to go back to this place in September and, um, we're not too excited about it, but at least now we know and we've got the tote. Uh, the other thing that it did not have was internet. Yeah, that was a great one. So... We're watching movies on our little phone, um... I I have hotspot but don't know how to get it on my phone. And once our daughter got there, she was able to get things going. Well, we had a VCR. Yeah, I think I'll just put this down. We had a VCR, but did we actually bring it on the trip? No, we forgot it. I did bring a bunch of movies, but we didn't have anything to watch them with. So we had to go to Walmart and get a VCR. And I'm sorry, why are they still $60, $70, $80 a piece? Why? I don't get that. I mean, they're not that special. <laughs> They've been around a long time. They should be like 20 bucks. Uh, but I had to pay almost $70. That was like their cheapest, $60. And, um, and I mean, we've got more VCRs, uh, VCRs, uh, DVD players. I know I said VCR at Walmart, too, and the girl looked at me like I was from another planet. She goes, we don't sell those anymore. And I'm like... Well, how do you watch your DVD? She goes, a DVD player. And I went, oh, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. <laughs> a dummy. What are you going to do? All right, I need a little bit, and that's too thick. I need a little something here. How about just a little piece of material? Just right there. I like it. Um... Yeah, I was so surprised how much that was. So, that'll look good right there. Um, so, yeah, that was that was another thing. So, uh, you know, onward and upward with... <coughs> we So, mainly, really, once we got there, the only thing we, we went and bought, we brought some food with us because we have a full refrigerator, freezer, I mean, it's not a huge one, but it is a full, regular refrigerator with a freezer on top and an ice maker. However, the part that we had ordered for the ice maker, it needed a new celluloid. A celluloid. I don't know if I'm even saying it right. Um, the part came in, it wasn't the right part. So then we had to return that one and do get the right part well we didn't get the right part um it said that we were i really want to open this one it said that we were um 
that we didn't do the order. So we tried to do the order, but apparently we didn't push some button or something. <laughs> We're both so tech savvy, it's not even funny. We're not. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so <sighs> that was another, um, another fiasco because of uh, trying to, you know, trying to get ice and you had to go up to the ranger station and but you couldn't take the dogs in so it was like well we're making a long walk but we can't take the dogs with us I didn't didn't ever go because it was too hot well one time I went and then I held the dogs and he went in and bought the ice and then we carried it back uh, I mean we had our vehicle but you know you you when you go camping, you're not, I don't know, you just don't want to to get in your vehicle all the time and go and do stuff. But, anywho. Um, yeah, so, one night, we're out. It's, it's dark. Uh, it's not late, but it's dark. And this gentleman walks by, and I... I have a pot on the fire pit, and he goes, ooh, what you cooking up? Well, I was cooking up. I, I give our dogs, um, I cook boned-in quarters, uh, carrots, celery, um, and uh, brown rice. And so I had all of that in a pot on the fire pit. Because you have to cook it for about an hour or so. You know, you get everything uh, done well. And I like cooking it slowly. So uh, the fire pit, we just didn't let the flames get up real high. And, and it cooked it nice and slowly so that you got even the marrow juice out of the bones. So anyway, we started talking to him, and he's super nice, and we said whatever wood that we had left that he was welcome to to come back by, um, you know, in about half hour or so, and and because it, it should be done. So he came back about, by about 45 minutes later, and we... Uh, I am so sorry I can't get this. I really want this one. That's, I really want this one. Because I think it would look great right here. Right here. It would look so cute right here. <laughs> but I'm not going to waste y'all's time. I will do it later. Let's get you going here. Okay, so now this one, we could, no, nope, that's way too small. <coughs> And I also need to use these absolutely gorgeous rub-ons. They're just beautiful. So maybe instead of covering this one with paper, we could do some of these rub-ons and really make it pretty. Let's see, I'm trying to see which one I want on. This one's very bold. I love it. So let's go ahead and cut around this one. So those of you who have never done rub-ons before, they're super easy. Um, you just cut out what you want, leave the sheet on the rest of it. You take the cover sheet off from the back, and that is what you're sticking. Now, they gave me a little... Where did it go? Oh, right here. They gave me a little rubber scrubber, but you could use anything. And let's see, where do... Oh. Try not to touch it with your hands. I want... Oh, this one's almost a little too big. Oh, there we go. And get everything on. All right. So you stick it down, and then you rub it. If you don't have this, you can do a popsicle stick. 
And you can start to tell most of the time that it is transferred off of the plastic sheet and onto your uh, onto your paper. But sometimes you can't. And really get in there. Don't you don't you know baby it. You really want to get in there and do some scrubbing. But don't let the paper move. Now the paper does have some stick to it. So it does help keep it from moving. And you just keep rubbing and rubbing. You want to make sure first that you get all the way around before you even try and lift and see how things are doing. Okay, so I have gone all the way around. So I'm going to slowly start to pick things up. Now, if you find anything that is sticking, you just rub it. There we go. Good. Watch your little tips of your flowers, little wispy things. And try and make sure that as you're getting closer to it being up, that you're holding it in place just in case you need to go back um, because it will stick in the exact spot. So there we go. It is all on there. And the thing is, is it you barely can tell that there's anything on there. It is just dynamite. A little excess right there. So that's really pretty. Now we can do, so that part then you can throw that away. So let's see what else we can do. We've got the, we've got the, uh, yeah, let's put him up here. This beautiful dragonfly. Boy, let me tell you, we saw some absolutely gorgeous, huge butterflies. I'm uh, Not butterflies, dragonflies down there. And uh, equally, huge mosquitoes. Holy Hannah, I had forgotten how big the mosquitoes were down there. But they live all year long, so, <laughs> you know, yeah, they get pretty big. Okay, so here we're going to put our little dragonfly. Again, just rub all over it. And don't let your paper move. Concentrate on the tips of things. All right. There we go. Clean as a whistle. There we go. Love it. Now let's just get a little something right here. That's a little too much. Yeah, let's put you. And that's as, as easy as it is to decorate something. I mean, just cut and, and rub. Super nice. And it just gives you a different look. And it's like you're making your own paper. So there we go. And these are really pretty. So these would be able to be used on any tag, any page, any paper, anything like that. Okay. Ah, there we go. Take your time. Hold it so you don't lose. Oh, that didn't get anything done to it. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. See how pretty that is? Love it. Love it. Okay, so now we have a pocket here and a pocket here to contend with. So, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so I have a little, another little calendar. There's a white calendar. And 
that one says. I have no clue. No clue what it says. And then we have some beautiful writing right there, and I think that's that will leave that. All right, and then we have this pocket, but it needs to get covered up. Okay, so now I'm going to look at my pieces here. Um, that one is not going to be thick enough. That can go in the garbage. <coughs> Let's... Let's do a bit of this, maybe. I think it will be large enough. Okay, so we're going to get the proper depth first. Take your time, make sure you're getting it straight. There we go. Ooh, that's so pretty. We'll use that on something as well. All right, so now we're going to slide this in and all the way to the back. All right, now we're going to pull it forward until it's where I know I'm going to be pulling it. All right. All the way to this very edge of the envelope. You want it behind that. But make sure it's nice and straight. There we go. And then you're going to just take your pencil, pull this out, and just cut the line off. Okay, and then let's put it right back down on our paper, and it's perfect. I think I might go back and do the edges of my pages with some vintage photo. I think it'll give it a little bit more depth. Um, Yes, I do. I think it'll give it a little bit more depth. And I think Vintage Photo will be the one that I'll use, but we'll see. I may change my mind. There we go. See how lovely that is. Now this one, you can use things that stick out the top. There you go. Got a little tag in there. And this is covered up, but it needs something. So let's see if I can get this one off. So I took some crafting things to do, um, but I, you know, with me being sick, I just didn't. I just didn't get to it at all. Uh, we did some of the little things from with my grandson. He enjoyed coloring and drawing, and. The day that we, it was the day before they left, because I only had them for five days. So we were supposed to have them for eight, eight or nine, actually. Um, but they, uh, you know, with my sickness, I just didn't think it was good for them to come until I was, I was running a fever. I was just miserable. It wouldn't have mattered where I was. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, but the day that we were going to do all this beautiful painting I had for him and stuff like that, it, it rained and it, it rained enough that it turned, 
it turned it into a sauna. It's like you cook from your feet up. I don't know. Some of you have been to Florida. Some of you live in Florida. Um, and you know what I'm talking about. But, ah, uh, I would really like to use you. Really. Really, really. <laughs> but you're driving me nuts. Okay. And I'm sure every one of these is a sticker. I'm sure not just a few of them are. That would make no sense. But, uh, and of course my glasses are horrible. I really need new glasses. Oh well. This would look really pretty here, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm just going to leave that right there. A slider right in. All right, and then the next page. Oh, you know what? This actually goes like this. But I still want to put that there. And then this page here we already covered. But it does need a little something, something hanging. There we go. Okay, so now we have decorated every piece. We have stuck our... Um, our... Uh, tags and such in wherever we wanted and now we're going to work on this closure so I don't want to put because when you when you open this up you are moving each one of these items and if you put glue it's not going to want to move so um we have to be very thoughtful about where we're going to put this glue. Uh, I cannot put it on the back page, which we still need to cover this. I cannot put it here because these are moving parts, okay? So where we can, and this one even has to go, oh, this one has to go this way. So we really can't put any glue. This, however, we can put some glue down. So that is where it is going to be uh, glued down to our piece, is right there. And um, I just don't know. I, I guess I, I think I'm going to cut this down and glue... I'm just going to cut it from this flat edge here all the way across because I don't really want to cover my picture. I just don't want that covered up. And I just don't find the point to be, the, the you know, the point here to be that interesting. So, I'm going to cut that off. And I'm sure that I have some pieces here that like this one that will look just fine on there and I'm just going to glue it down see that's not actually very straight is it there to there oh it's actually this part huh yeah this part is not very straight so let's work that out I think that's much better. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to cut this down. No, actually, I think I'm going to glue it down to where it is. And then I will cut it straight so that it'll fit the book. 
Okay, so hang, hang over the edge on both sides. Go right up to the score mark. There we go. All right, and then when we go to attach this, we're going to glue it down on both sides of the book as well. Okay, so I have I have it flat and equal on both sides and lay it down and we're going to put glue on both pieces here. Does that make sense? This way you're not seeing the slight angle from the envelope. It's going to look like it's just a solid piece. Oh, and I forgot something. Come on, back up, back up, back up. There we go. I've got this from some of my die, um, die pieces. I do uh, colors of the month. And I thought this was a really pretty color for here. So I am going to glue this down in here. There we go, and I want oh, I didn't get it centered very well. There we go, I think that's a little better. And of course it's all gluey now. <laughs> okay, now we're pulling it around. There we go. Good job, good job, guys. Yeah. Okay, so see, now it, we can totally see, we can glue this down. Because we're going to have to also have a piece coming from this way, which, what's why we haven't covered this yet. So we're going to cut another piece, and I'm going to put some glue down. I'm just going to stick that right in there, let that dry. And let's get one of these really pretty pieces. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I want all this flirty stuff, so I'm going to cut off the bottom. I don't know if those are, I think those are chestnuts. And I don't care if we see all of the chestnuts or not. So, there she blows. So we're just going to glue this shut. It's not going to be a pocket. It's just going to be glued shut over these. So, I am going to utilize, huh, Oh, and I do not know what has happened, and maybe some of you guys know or, or have had it. I don't know if you can see my hands. I am peeling. My fingers are peeling. I have been putting lotion. I don't know if I got my hands into something that, um, that I'm allergic to or what, but wow. It has not been, it doesn't hurt, doesn't itch. They're just peeling. I don't know. So if any of you guys have any ideas, I don't know w w why. And it's just all around my fingers. All around my fingers. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't like it. That's for sure. So, yeah. Oh, and um, so... We met that couple. They were super nice. He came back after a little while, and we gave him the wood that we had left over. And my husband helped him carry it down. Well, I got the hot pot of dog food off of the off of the um, you know the the <laughs> the fire pit. 
the grate on top of the fire pit. So I got that off. And I'm walking to the door. And Hooch heard the man. So he's barking at the door and stuff. Well, I go to open the door and I can't get it open. It's locked. Well, inside there is a little thing and up here is a lock that twists. Then your handle and then down underneath the handle is a little gray bar, a metal bar that goes down to lock it or up to unlock it. So you have two, you have like a deadbolt and then this is like you know, just a, a lock on the handle. So, Hooch snagged that metal bar and locked the door. All the keys were inside. We had Steve's phone, uh, but all the keys were inside. Everything was inside, and we were stuck outside. And, oh my gosh, the dogs were hungry. We were hungry. <laughs> it was late. So Steve goes back down to the guy that we had just given. His name was Carl. And we said, hey, Carl, maybe you could help us. So we tried all his keys, and we couldn't get in. Finally, he brought one of his daughters down, and she climbed in a window we found that was semi-unlocked and got in. So that was, our, that was the night before we left. Okay, guys, so there it is. It's so cute, so little, perfect for in your purse or as a gift. You can totally do like a, a birthday-themed one. I mean, this is 11 envelopes and some paper. You could totally do like a birthday-themed one. Like if you've known them for many years, you can do like birthday, like like the different ages here you were when you were one here you were when you were two and you know make it if you just want to use four envelopes um uh, if you want to do more so it's just as cute as it can be but this is going to be great to carry in my purse so that i have uh, a little note to write things on um but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this now, the next thing I'm going to be starting is my big uh, voyage under the sea. It's the Graphic 45, I think, Voyage Under the Sea. So, I'm going to be getting prepped for that, but there you guys go. You probably are going to get a Saturday, you're going to get um, one of my Let's Organize, because, dang, it is messy. <laughs> I am very, very, very messy right now, and I don't like it at all. And I got to get um, the Alice in Wonderland stuff that's left over, you know, all of, all of this. It's all got to get put away. So we will have ourselves a little, a little session on Saturday. And then probably next Tuesday uh, will be the first installment of and I got some ideas too so there's going to be a little bit of mixed media in this and I'm really hoping it works out really hoping so anyway thank you for your creative studio um, for sending me all of this lovely stuff so that I could make this really cute project with you guys um, yeah alright so until next time guys bye